I'm trying to make a connection here in regards to Apple's monopoly on the technology and maybe Apple will stomp out or their technology, they'll come out with some of their own, come up with some of their own technology. And be, be, because the majority of at least Americans use Apple products, you know, what's your take on that there? You know, I, I have a pretty strong take on this. First of all, we're not going to know until the middle of the year. Their their conference will be in the middle of the year. We do know that they're doing something in AI. We know that they canceled their car unit, moved people over to their AI unit. We know that they're in discussions with Google for an AI partnership. So we know they're working on it. But my concern is their ability to monetize AI. If they add it to Siri, are they going to charge nine 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 a month for Siri Plus? I mean... I would rather have ChatGPT. We know OpenAI is doing the best work in AI, and I've already got a ChatGPT subscription, so why would I pay 999 for Siri Plus? So yeah, it's very possible that they do add AI to Siri. It's possible they add more AI into the phone. But I believe that AI on the device is a lie. I tried to download an AI model, run it on my top-of-the-line MacBook Air with 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it still wouldn't work. I needed 18 gigabytes of RAM. Phones cannot run real AI models on the device right now. So I understand Samsung is trying to do something like that, but I think they're probably doing it in the cloud. So I don't believe in this so, whole idea that we're all gonna need to up, upgrade our devices. So they're, I don't believe, I mean, unless you're buying the top of the line $4,000 MacBook Pro, your laptop is probably not gonna run an AI model on it. So it's gonna happen in the cloud, which means we're talking like Siri Plus, which I don't necessarily think I'm going to pay 999 for. Interesting. Well, I think Apple, correct me if I'm wrong, is a large portion of these, for example, I have an app. I've developed, developed the software for an app and I put that app on the iPhone. I still have to pay a pretty substantial amount to Apple just to have that app on their, their, on your iPhone. And so a lot of their revenue is from that. And that's part of the problem in regards to what the federal government is at least suing them for is because you have to, to utilize that app, you have to run it on your iPhone, for example, um, because the technology, at least for iPhones, Macs, iPads, the majority of America, Americans use them. And the biggest one is the iPhone. And so I have two questions for you. You brought up a really interesting report point in regards to AI. Um, in order for AI, as I see it, to potentially be profitable, it, it needs to um, be extrapolated to the ever, a, average everyday American to use on their yeah. devices. So in the, in the future, is that going to be a possibility or is the computing power for some of our individual devices impossible? Because besides just open AI and some of these servers... What's the what's potentially the end game here? And this goes into what the narrative of the story story is, because yeah, you know, what is I mean, your take on that? I guess my question is, is that going to be possible in the future? So the end game is that the value in AI right now is accruing in a few different definitive places. So it's accruing to cloud AI providers, like for example, Microsoft, Azure. Uh, we're talking Oracle. Um, yeah, so uh, those those two really big ones. Now, Cloudflare also, which is a much smaller company, they're doing regional uh, AI data centers and AI cloud. So value is accruing to those companies in a big way right now. And then we do know that value is accruing to OpenAI, for example, which is the software layer. So there is some value accruing to the software layer. Uh, companies like Databricks, um, the company I mentioned earlier, Hugging Face, which is a potential IPO target for 2024. Um, they're making money by providing software for, for AI. So there, there, there is a, like a software accrual. Now, but what you're talking about, the everyday user, normal people who probably don't even have a chat GPT subscription, how do we get them to pay for it? That's where I, I start to break down on the value proposition. I don't see everyone going out and paying another $10 a month for a special Siri that does AI. It's almost like Apple needs to just add it to Siri without charging people to maintain their dominance when things like ChatGPT are catching on. And by the way, there are already startup companies that are making devices, physical devices for AI, like a little clip that you put on your shirt, 